Val, I want to talk to you a little bit about Heart of Darkness. Um, it's a very short book, hardly a novel at, at all, of course, and yet it's had this extraordinary volume of criticism about it. I suppose no short text would have had quite so much written about it, probably. Is it worth all that? Is it, how good is it, do you think, as a novel? I, I think Heart of Darkness is, is, is very properly given a tremendous amount of attention. Um, it, it is pretty momentous. Um, uh, it was um, uh, momentous in its time and, and uh, uh, in its critique of uh, uh, the Belgian Congo, uh, 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 absolutely focused on that um, uh, and on, on the question of imperialism and it, it hooks in um, British uh, imperialism as well. Um, uh, coming all out of Comrade's experience as a, a, a member of the British Merchant Marine and also having had this extraordinary job of going up the <laughs> Congo River um, in the pay of the Belgians. Mm. Um, it, 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 it felt important at the time and uh, it, a, a sense of its importance has grown as our uh, sense of um, the importance of getting to grips with, with, with colonial history, uh, our colonial, European colonialism, uh, 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 th that um, is a kind of obligation, if you like, to the historical business um, that we were so heavily involved in, um, as, as, as a sense of, of, of the, uh, the the necessity to think about and analyse um, all, all of that has grown, and um, Comrade's place and ha the place of Heart of Darkness in particular in that um, uh, uh, an analysis um, uh, has uh, a sense of Comrade's place has grown with the growing sense of the importance of getting to kind of grips with this this piece of the past. Um, and um, of course, um, Heart of Darkness has fallen off the tree, you might say, um, in, in, into the hands of um, this, in some ways, rather belated uh, uh, concern by historians and uh, politicians. Um, and, and, and Comrade has done it so well. I mean, he's put his finger on so many of the kind of the issues, the, the, the questions, and what is more, of course, um, wrapped it all up in um, and this extraordinarily engaging fiction, you know, yeah. um, where the whole question of um, uh, coming to understand what um, all of these horrors actually mean and how they work um, is wrapped up in this extraordinary um, uh, text, uh, which is um, thinking in parallel with all of that um, how um, how narrative works. You know, and not just how you come to grips with a, a momentous set of historical events, but also how any kind of fictional attempt to come to terms with the world and politics and e everything with the human, um, how it works. So it's a kind of extraordinary kind of double whammy going on here, the, the historical political subject um, and the subject of how um, you, you write a novel, or, well, it's not a novel, yes. it's a novel. It's because of course, how, you, how you write a fiction about it. Because, of course, Con Conrad got criticised, I think, by F.R. Leavis, among others, for being too wordy. And, and yet, actually, it's Marlowe who's too wordy, isn't it? I mean, Marlowe is a character created by Conrad, that whole idea of the unreliable narrator. Yeah. I mean, I mean um, Le Leavis is completely wrong about um, Heart of Darkness um, in, in its... Uh, it, it, in, in, in many ways, I mean, he approves of its um, kind of moral thrust, um, but uh, keeps uh, uh, attacking it for um, if verbal fuzziness. Um, you know, particularly attacks. Uh, uh, Marlowe keeps um, uh, has this extraordinary rhetoric, doesn't he, about the incredible, the impossible, yeah. all these n 
Uh, but this is Marlowe of, talking. Yeah, this is Marlowe. This is not Conrad talking, uh, yeah, it's Marlowe. Uh, uh, exactly. Um, uh, the, the indescribable, the incredible, etc., etc. Um, a whole list of these were uh, uh, adjectives of negative uh, capability, as it were. Um, and um, even said, essentially, you know, um, uh, Conrad should pull his finger out and you know and and, and, and stop messing about and <laughs> stop so sort of saying say it rather than saying how unsayable it is. But this misses entirely the point. Uh, it seems to me um, that um, what we're being presented with um, is uh, a, a set of events which disable narrative. They put the narrator the observer, the Marlowe figure, um, in a quandary, how on earth do you put these terrible things into words? How okay. do you describe this? Yeah, hard? language fails. Um, and um, uh, we're presented with, as it were, not, not just a kind of an attack on the imagination. Um, how can you, how can one cope with, with thinking about, imagining, conceiving all of these horrors um, uh, and uh, naturally that, you might say naturally, um, that uh, is a disabling and that uh, disabling is um, registered in the disabling of of narration. Of course it's, it's, it's not just, you know, um, the, as Lever suggested that you know Conrad should pull his finger out, as it were, and say, "What? Well, no, no, no! We're being presented with um, the, the the difficulty of, of 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 language to confront the unsayable." And that's in a way what Conrad was saying: words just can't you can't exactly. do it in words. Exactly. No, he he, he he Conrad um, touches on. Uh, as it were, the unsayable, um, all over the play. I mean, it's the great th theme of Under Western Eyes, for example. Um, but but here, he, he, he puts it in a nutshell, and that's part of the power of this. It's, it's very succinct. Um, you know, it's very potent. Um, it's it's, it's a, a little pocket battleship, you might say. Heart of Darkness is. The heart of Darkness, yes. yes. And this idea that words, are, words, doesn't he say something like words themselves are a consoling illusion that we console yeah. ourselves with yeah. words? And it's yeah, And by the same token, of course, um, the uh, uh, Marlowe confronts the sort of mystery, uh, or confronts Africa and the whole experience as a kind of um, disabling set of m mysteries. And part of that um, uh, mysteriousness, the uh, the incredible nature of, of, of it, um, the, 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 the difficulty of registering it is, of course, um, re registered in the, the linguistic aspects out there. Babble, he keeps saying babble, babble. It's a babble, the babble of many voices. Now, what is interesting, of course, in all of that um, is that a lot of uh, kind of um, post-colonialist uh, uh, critics have seized on that and said, ah, oh, you know, um, comrades are racist because, you know, he's, he, all he hears is kind of the, the, the black other um, as uh, talking nonsense. That misses the point, it seems to me, um, of uh, w w what Conrad is a, a, a addressing. One of, the, one of the terrible things about modern reading um, of uh, Heart of Darkness um, is th that lecture by Chinua Achebe. Yes, he's, he uh, obviously thinks that Conrad doesn't go yeah, far enough. Yeah. But, um, but, but Chinua Achebe, so I mean... Uh, being brave, yeah. as everyone thought yeah. until then, he yeah. says... He uh, no, Achebe, Achebe um, uh, gives this lecture at the University of Massachusetts mm. um, in, in which he seizes on all of that kind of thing um, and um, says that this, this denotes um, Conrad has a racist. Um, this this is, seems to be quite extraordinary. This is a play about. Uh, this is a, a, new, a nouvelle about racism. Uh, it is about the racism of of the Belgians, uh, and and by implication, of course, um, the, and at the, time the racism no one else of all imperialism. No one else was coming anywhere near making this kind of point, were they? Then. I mean, when Conrad wrote this, no, 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 I, 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 my I, point I, is that he was being very brave at the time. Well, I, looking back, looking at it from now, he yeah. can be criticised, perhaps. But I mean, racism was normal um, uh, That's what in, I mean. in the period, yeah. um, 
and um, even people who, um, uh, writers and so on, who were um, you would think of as kind of terrifically liberal, um, will, will um, are, are racists. There's no doubt about that. You know, Tennyson can quite cheerfully talk about the Kaffirs out, out there in Africa um, and um, uh, how, how they, they're having the nerve to defeat the British army and so on. Um, all of that kind of thing. There's a kind of deploring, a, a, a downgrading of, of, the, of, of the dark other world. Okay, um, all, all of that. You know, we, we, we are a colonialist, um, uh, the West, really. French, it, British, Belgian, doesn't matter, is uh, utterly kind of colonialist and colonialist racist um, and, 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 and so on. Um, and and uh, Conrad stands out. Um, he stands out. And I think he stands out because he had experienced racism himself, you know, as, as a Pole, yeah. um, as a person um, yeah. who um, was um, uh, jeered at um, uh, for, for being Polish, Polish Joe. They called him on British ships because his English wasn't wasn't any good and so on. Um, who was in Polish ways himself quite racist. Um, actually, um, he hated Russians, hated Russians. I have no idea with Russians. Um, and in, in <laughs> and, and and you know in in Heart of Darkness, um, there, there there is a lot of our. Um, uh, Poland's uh, traditional enemies, you might say, in the person of Kurtz, who has a German name um, and has a Russian sidekick and so on. <laughs> Germans and Russians, they, they stand for the, the traditional enemies of Poland, it's kind of very conscious of that, of squeezing, squeezing Poland from, from, from both sides. So his uh, villain is companion to yeah, the two. But there's no, there's no, uh, there's no um, uh, black racism. There's yeah. no racism about about Africans. Um, on the contrary, this is a, 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 a story full of extreme compassion uh, for what's going on uh, with, with 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 black people, um, slaves. It's a kind of extraordinary scene, isn't it? Um, in, in which Marlowe sees a, 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 a black man who's dead. Um, by the side of the path, with a bullet hole through his head, and so on. Um, you know that kind of thing. Um, the the, the behaviour um, of the colonialists um, is sort of outrageous, outrageous, um, and 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 we're implicated. We're w w what's interesting um, uh, is is the, the way in which that that Russian um, psyche of Kurtz and so on um, has uh, has this. Um, he dressed like a map. Is the um, uh, like the map that Marlow looks at with the different colours of the colonial settlements uh, in in Africa and so on. There's the red bit of the map. Good work, just some good work done in there. <laughs> thinks Marlow, the red bit of the map. Okay, uh, as opposed to the Belgian bit. Um, and um, but but later on he meets he meets the Russian um, who who patched himself. He's patched like a map of, of Africa. And at a certain uh, point. Um, he, he goes off um, armed with, um, with bullets. He goes off um, armed. This colonialist goes off um, dressed um, in Marlowe's shoes um, and um, uh, with some of Marlowe's bullets and he puts them in the red pocket, the red pocket. And, you know, um, <laughs> it, there's a wonderful scene, isn't there, where um, they discover... Um, a, a, a book, a seamanship, a guide, thousand thousands guide, an actual guide, by the way, it does exist, um, and um, uh, it's a book of seamanship. This wonderful thing sewn together with white white cotton and so on. And this this mystery, this book, this English book of seamanship, full of a right way of going about things and so on. Um, all of that is absolutely the essence of the of the English merchant uh, marine. Okay, all of that. Um, and then it turns out it belongs to the Russian. Belongs to the Russian, Kurtz's friend, and so on. You know, <laughs> he's the person who absorbed all this kind of British stuff. Um, no, 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 no. Um, uh, Con Con Conrad. Um, 
the, the victim of, of racism and uh, in terms of European uh, things, um, uh, pretty Polish racist, um, but not in relation to Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Achebe is quite wrong. And what's interesting um, is, is that he's uh, just silly, actually, he's just silly. A misreading of this novel, which has had tremendous effect. Um, critics jumping up and down, jumping on the bandwagon, agreeing with Achebe. Um, uh, I'm gobsmacked. <laughs>